Order of Operations, Part 1. In today's lesson, students will learn how to work with three numbers using the order of operations. Using what? Very good. So now that you know your basic skills, we can begin to work with order of operations. So you remember what happened when purple elephants may destroy a school, right? So those six words help you to remember the order of operations. An operation is something that you do with numbers. Now you know that you can either multiply, what's the opposite of multiplication? Divide, you can add or you can subtract numbers, right? So what happens when you have a few numbers and you have to do those operations? Where do you start first? Okay, so here is the order. Now, just like you read from left to right, you're going to do the operations from left to right. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look to see if you have these. What are these called? These are called parentheses. Hold up your arms, hold up your hands and say parentheses. Okay. So the first step you're going to write in your flow map is you're going to do parentheses. So it's P-A-R-E-N-T-H-E-S, E-S, parentheses. Okay, and parentheses look like this. Now, the second step we aren't going to be doing until Monday, but the second step would be if you see exponents, and exponent is the little number on top, so it's like, um, they call they call this a superscript because it's up. This is called an exponent. Okay, so next you would work with exponents, which we will see on Monday. But for today, we're going to focus on parentheses and then all of the operations you're familiar with. So what does M stand for? You know what M stands for, mom, right? So the next step would be, what's this sign? What are you going to do? You're going to multiply. So you would do multiplication, if you see multiplication. Okay, so this is purple elephants may destroy. What does D stand for that we learned all last week? It's this symbol, what does it stand for? D is division, so then you will divide. Okay, and then A, what do you think A stands for? Yes, then you're gonna do addition. And step six is going to be, if you see this symbol right here, what is this one? It is subtraction. That's right. Subtraction. So make sure you have the steps. Again, we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication. Oh, this should be division. Addition and subtraction. So those are the order you're going to go in, and they're going to be from left to right. So go ahead and get that down for me. Okay, so you need to remember that purple elephants may destroy a school. Yes? This is known as PEMDAS. PEMDAS is the order of operations. It's the what? The order of operations. So today we're going to focus on three numbers. What do you do when you work with three numbers, but you have two different operations? You see, the first one says, uh, number one says three times two plus four. Okay, so what would you start with first? Would you start with the multiplication or the addition? What comes first? M, right? And then A is down here. So multiplication, then addition. And remember, it's from left to right. So you're usually going to see this arrow here that says, look, Start at the left and then work over to the right. So when you're working with three numbers, you have to make a V to show that you're going to work with two numbers at a time only. You're going to work with how many numbers at a time? Two. So we're going to start with multiplication. We're going to make a V like this. We're going to say, okay, what is three times two? What is three times two? Three times two is six. Then you're going to bring down this plus four. You're going to bring it down right here. Now you can solve 6 plus 4, right? Because you're working with two numbers. What is 6 plus 4? What is 6 plus 4? 6 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So circle 10 for me. So 3 plus 2, sorry, 3 times 2 plus 4 is 10. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the next example. It says 8 minus 6, or 8 subtract 6, divided by 3. Okay, so we know, we would think, hey, we usually have to start here on the left. But this operation is subtraction, which is the last step. What do you want to do before you do this subtraction? What do you want to do first? Right, look at the order of operations. P-E-M-D-A-S. So, do we have a division sign here? Yes, and you would do division before you would do subtraction, right? Because that's the order. So the first thing you're going to do is work with 6 divided by 3. So how many times, again, 6 divided by 3 looks like this. 6 divided by 3. How many times do you skip count by 3 to get to 6? What is 6 divided by 3? It's 2. Very good. Then you're going to go ahead and bring down the 8 and the subtraction sign. So now you're really working with 8, take away 2, or 8 minus 2. So you're going to go ahead and say 8, 7, 6. Okay? So the answer to this one is 6. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at what happens when you're working with addition and subtraction. Remember, you always have to work from left to right, just the way that you read. Okay, so we know the order of operations says that we have to do addition before subtraction. Okay, because if we try to do subtraction first, 4 take away 7, can you do that? I mean, you can. You'll be able to do it next week. But can you take 7 away from 4? Can you take a bigger number away from a smaller number? No. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with 20 plus 4 because it's addition and then subtraction. So 20 plus 4, let's go ahead and make a V. What's 20 plus 4? 20 plus 4 is 24. Okay, and then we're going to bring down minus 7. So now what we have to do is solve 24 take away 7. Let's just review this really quick. 24 take away 7. Now a lot of people say 7 minus 4 is 3. That is incorrect. You cannot work up. You have to look at 4 at the top and try and take away 7. If 7, if there is more on the floor, if 7 is bigger than 4, you have to go next door, grab 110, and that makes 14. So we do 14 take away 7, which is 14, remember? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and bring down the 1. So the answer here is 17. Now let's take a look at example 4. Example 4 says 12 divided by 2 times 3. Okay, let's remember the order of operations, right? First you have M and then you have D, right? Right, so the order of operations says to do multiplication before division, okay? But this is always from left to right. So my friends, with this one, you want to go ahead and start with division before you do the multiplication because you have to start what's on the left, all right? So what is 12 divided by 2? 12 divided by 2. Remember, this is 12 divided by 2. How many times can you skip count by 2 to get to 12? Or what is uh, 2 times what number is 12? It is 6. And then you're going to go ahead and multiply this 6 bring this down, multiply it by 3. Okay, so what is 6 times 3? 6 times 3 is, remember? 6, 12, 18. So the answer here is 18. So in problem 5, we see something different that we haven't seen before, okay? Okay, remember what these are called? Hold them up. These are called parentheses. They're called what? Parentheses. Parentheses basically mean work with me first because parentheses is the first uh, operation you work with. So take a look what's in the parentheses first, okay? This is 4 plus 2. So what is 4 plus 2? 4 plus 2, that's pretty simple. 4 plus 2 is 6, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So then you're going to go ahead and bring down the multiplication sign in the 6 because now this is 6 times 6, okay? 6 times 6. And what is 6 times 6, remember? It's 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So the answer to this one is 36.
Okay, in the last example, we have the parentheses on the left. Where are the parentheses? They're on the left. And this is, okay, in parentheses, 4 plus 6 divided by 2. So what should you do first? Should you do the division or should you do the parentheses? What should you do first? You should do the parentheses. Do this first. So what is 4 plus 6? 4 plus 6 is, make a V, it's what? It's 10. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and bring them down the division sign. And this now says 10 divided by 2. Okay? So again, 10 divided by 2 means that the dividend is 10 and the divisor is 2. How many times can you skip count by 2 to get to 10? 2 times what is 10? It's 2 times, what is it? It's 5. Good job. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to try some problems like these on your own.